hello, hello, friends and neighbors. It's me, I kicked it ahead. We are back, Thornton Farms. And there's all kinds of flight going on today. We've got the hot air balloonists and it looks like we've got some passengers heading out somewhere. Welcome back to Thornton Farms. I'm gonna kick it ahead as I've already said. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finally offload our straw bales off the trailer. Storm right in there. You can see I've already started. And depending on how much time we have left today, we will either do some forestry or we'll do some missions and stuff, depending on what the time is. Try to get everything done as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and try to get a little straighter on there. Let's try to pierce both of them at a time. There we go. We'll just do two at a time like that and, and we'll just slowly just offload the trailer and get it all put up where we need to put it. Just like that. Make sure we don't take our brick wall down. Our stone wall down actually, it's not brick, it's stone. That's brick though. Now I'm wondering if we can get all the way to the back back there. I think we can. Shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, just like that. And we'll go ahead and take care of that. Now, a lot of you suggested that, uh, well, it seems like the majority of you are saying that you typically don't do the gold nuggets as well as I don't typically do it either. But uh, I think for the sake of this playthrough, to try to get as much interest and stuff as possible, I think what I will do is collect the nuggets offline and then come back when I've only got one more to collect and uh, give ourselves the million dollars that way through the nuggets just so we can get some more equipment, some fields, and get into the pigs and cows and stuff. Just for the interest's sake alone. I think that's the best way to do it. So we'll probably go ahead and do it that way. And I think that's going pretty good. We're getting the bells off fairly quickly. And we get this last couple bit here. Now we're going to have to take some more straps off. Take that strap off. And well, let's take all the straps off. Let's see how we do. There we go. And we'll get all these stored away inside the, the shed here. That will free our trailer up. We can use the trailer for wood or logs or whatever we want to use it for. Beat sit sitting there being in use and we can't use it for anything else. And we'll take a look at the animals as well because we should be having some sheep come up soon. Let's go ahead and just get that one off. There we go. And hopefully we'll get the wool going as well. Hopefully we'll have another pallet of wool. And it's going to go really slow. I can see that. We'll definitely need a lot more sheep. A lot more sheep though in order to get the production up quick enough for us. There we go. As you can see none of our stuff is climbing other than 
canola and corn, which we don't have a lot of it in stock, so we can't really sell that yet. But hopefully we'll get some soon. Almost got all the bills off. We'll get all this stored away. And we'll get the last couple of bits here. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I need to get one bill to start with, but let's grab these two bills here. I suppose if I put put these in the front, then the next one I put on top, one will fall down inside that hole. There we go. And I could just push this one up in there. There we go. That should work. And looks like three more trips after this one, two, two, and one. Yep, yeah, we'll be okay. And it will be done. And as I said, that will free up our bit our trailer. Okay. Come on, you want to come off of there? I know you do. There we go. And finally, this last couple bells will be done. Yay! Careful. Well, that didn't go to plan. We're doing so well till the very end right there. Doing so well. There we go. It's going to take a few more trips than what we anticipated. Can I put that up there? Yeah, I probably could, but it won't be very good. Let's just put it right here. Grab this last couple bills. done. Last two bells. And final bell. Then our trailer is complete empty and we'll be able to utilize it again. Careful. Mm 
there we go. And finally done. Let's see, where would be a good place to put this? Oh, let's just put it right there. That's fine. Perfect. Okay, our bells are offloaded. We've got some stored up now. That way we can start getting into the pigs and cows. Let's move the trailer to where we keep the other trailer stored. Okay. And we have to drop the bell fork or the, the, the spike. Yeah, the bell fork spikes off. And let's just go ahead and we'll just drop the trailer here for a second. We'll pick up the the log grab. Why do I always keep getting out? Okay, now we'll go pick up the trailer again, deliver the trailer over. it let's go drop this off now we'll have to pick up you see if we can hook up the bolt trailers we'll take both trailers out so we can take our log trailer right there and we'll see how we can do maybe we can get both of them filled up I think that has a trailer hitch in the back back there on this trailer we can connect up to. Yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. Got that connected. Go ahead and head on out to the forest field area, forest area. Now we may have fun making these corners. Okay, let's check the animals before we get started. So if we check here, see the fields are all done. They are ready to go. We just need to get the first growth cycle on them and then we can go ahead and do the, the final fertilization on them. If we come over here, you can see three and a half hours we'll have our next sheep. And everything else is good, but we're only at 25%, so it's going slowly, but we'll get there. Our mare's out there running, prancing around. Let's get this out to the forest area. And we'll see if we can get a little bit of time in on the... Maybe we can get the trees at least cut down today and start loading. You weren't supposed to do the crane. I want this one. There we go. There we go. A little hung up back there. This may be really hard, folks. There we go. Still a little sliding back there. There we go. Finally got it. And we'll head on out and get this finally finished here. How's the time? We're already halfway through. Uh, 
and finally get this done. What I'm thinking about doing, and I don't know what you guys think, is, you know, we're doing this one here. I'm thinking about doing an American one as well. So we'll have an American farm series going and then, then this European farm series going. But the question is, should we do the Goldcrest Valley American one or should we do the American Outback that's now on the mod folder? American Outback is a good map, but it's awful big and we may have problems trying to do all that solo. And I haven't checked it out yet to see if there's any, if it's any good, if there's any errors or anything in it. Here we go, Sherwood Forest. Now we were going to need a tree stump removal to get some of these tree stumps out of here and we're also going to need to replant. Okay, let's see how we want to do this. So I think what we want to do is, let's take this group of trees right here, I think is what we want to do and I should be able to load them up let's see let's go ahead and we'll get this one done and I want it to fall this way but we're on a slope as well it may fall the other way oh, there it goes That's good for now. Let us just move this just a little bit. There we go. Now, boy, we got to, let's remove this strap. Let's make it about right here to start. That one should fit on the green trailer. If we do the next one about right here as well. think that will go let's see let's switch this to the back trailer that piece to drop down that is there we go and let's see let's try this view so if we spin this around let me turn my mouse sensitivity way down there we go let's open this up and spin it quite tell if it's over or not. Well, that ain't grabbing it. Okay, that should do it though. Ooh, careful, bring it in. There we 
go. Let's spin this around. Okay. And then hopefully this will all load up really nice and nice and tidy. Hopefully in this last piece. And of course, now I can't see it. So, let us... Yeah, and I can't pull it either. It's too heavy. What about this one? Can we lift this one up? We can. So let's go ahead and we'll get on this one. We'll load that one on there. And we'll probably have to cut this one up so we can load it up by hand. Go all the way through. And of course that's going to be too heavy. There's always something. At least we'll get this part done and we can sh we should be able to load up both pieces. Let's put this bad boy right over here. There we go. And come on out of there. There we go. Put this bad boy right over here. There we go. Should be okay. Let's take a look. Let's take this one and set it down right there. That looks good. Let's see if we can get some more on there real fast then. And then we'll take it to sell. We'll try one more. Let's get this one. And let's kind of fail it out that direction kind of smashed the trailers a little bit but that's okay broke our crane off okay what's the best way to do this First of all, let's go ahead and just drop this off the crane. There we go. And let's cut this piece right about there. Stop bouncing. Just 
put that right there. There we go. Great. Now if we can get... Get this in two pieces, maybe? That one should go on there. This one's going to be too long, so I have to do it in three. Do it about right there. There we go. And I think for safety's sake, let's put, put one strap on there for the time being. We'll see how that works out. We'll put one strap on for the time being. Now, can I reach that way out there? If I bring this up, the only problem with doing that is, in real life, you would tip the trailer over for sure. there if we can get this to end though yeah it ain't gonna work that way let's bring this in some This won't grab very well. spin this around that direction. And then slowly set it down about right there. And we'll grab this last piece. Even with my mouse sensitivity turned way down, this is really sensitive. Don't know if it's just me or, or what. Okay, come on now. now grab it. Stays on there, that is. Okay. And we got one more we got to get out there, but we're not going to be able to reach it this way. So let's stop here for a second. And let's go ahead and we'll throw the straps on here. Just like that. We'll move this a little closer. Go ahead and stow the crane just for the time being. Put this down like that. Like that. And let's go ahead and we'll spin around. We'll try to load that last log up take this to the sawmill and we'll sell it. See what we get out of it.
up, spin it around. Now the question is, is there a better view on it somewhere where we can get a better view? this way and if we can get it sit right out there oh, not there you know what we can do let's just do this let us some of this may be too heavy but if we can get it cut and we'll just throw it into the back of the trailer back there That way we can go get it sold because we've got to we've got to end the the mission or the the video for sure. We're already going way over time. So how much of this can we lift up? This we can lift up. Come on now. I think a lot of the mission, a lot of the forestry and stuff we're going to do, we're going to start doing off camera. Of course, that's too heavy. And we'll get the last couple of pieces here. And then next episode, we're going to have to concentrate on missions because we need the extra income in. So let's go ahead and stow the crane. Just like that. Lift it up, and we can get back off of there to here. So let's see how this does. We'll see how well we get the money for this. Stuff should sit on there fairly well. Boy, we can't see anything this way. Yeah, I think if we're going to get into forestry, then we're going to need we're going to need some some actual forestry equipment, I think, for it to do for it to pay off well for us on camera at least. I think that's the way to go. We'll see if we can sell this. And the question is, will I be able to get the trailers in there to offload both of them? That's going to be the thing or not. We'll find out. Get this brought up. And I, like I said, next episode, it's going to be nothing but missions. We'll get the missions done. Um, hopefully, also, the first growth cycle will be ready. And we can put the final stage of fertilizer on. And I think we'll be good to go. And that way we'll have a large field of sunflowers, a large field of soybeans, and a smaller field of corn. And then um, what I think we'll do after that is we'll get some more either wheat or barley. We'll get some sugar beet going and then uh, some canola. And that way we'll have everything but potatoes. And uh, we should be able to start branching off into the pigs and stuff then. Okay. You can go through. 
Oh, come on now. There we go. And we should be able to get both trailers onto there to sell what's on there. We're just at just over 4,000 now. What the heck happened? Just over 4,000 now, so we'll see how much money this brings in. I don't know if we have to, I don't think we have to pull the straps off. that now question is did it get rid of all that uh, yes it did okay so it brought us up well five thousand it gave us five thousand dollars for all that which isn't too bad I suppose it was for for two trees and we cut some of them up pretty pretty short so okay i'm gonna leave it there ladies and gents thanks again for joining me i'm gonna kick to the head this has been thornton farms if you like the episode hit that like button it really helps me out and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button until next time we'll catch you all later have a great day bye bye